So in this video, I'm going to be going through how to locate the epicenter of an earthquake using a compass. So if we have a look at the steps, we can see that step one says that we must know the distance from the epicenter for three seismic stations. So I have previously done some calculations and I have my distances for three different seismic stations as can be seen here. If we have a look at step two, it says that we need to use a compass to draw circles for all three seismic stations. Now, there are a couple of rules that we need to follow when drawing our circles. The first rule being that the centre point of your compass is in the location of the seismic station and that the radius is equal to the distance from the epicentre. So I will explain what those mean. First of all, the radius. So the radius must be equal to the distance from the epicentre. Let's do the Fresno seismic centre first. The distance is 350 kilometres. We need to use a scale to determine our radius. So the scale is here. We can see that it has two sides, miles and kilometres. We have used kilometres in this example, so we will be using the kilometres side of the scale. So we need to take this to 350. So I will put my one point of the compass on zero and take the other point of the compass to 350. That will be the radius of my circle. Now the second rule says that the centre point of your compass is in the location of the seismic station. So we're doing Fresno, so I need to take my compass to Fresno and put it in the centre point of my circle. So once it is in place, I can draw my circle. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to do the second circle. I'm going to do Phoenix, and I can see that the distance is 590 kilometres. This one may seem a little bit tricky because the scale only goes to 400, but I'll show you how we can get around that. So first of all, I'll just take my compass to the maximum distance to 400 kilometres. I'll then move the pencil end of my compass back to zero. Holding the, the pointed end, I need to add an extra 190 kilometres to my radius. So then I just take this to 190. Okay, then your radius should be 590 kilometres according to the scale. So this is the Phoenix seismic station. So I'll find the Phoenix seismic station on my map and I will put the centre point on the seismic station and with my compass, draw my circle. Okay, it doesn't matter that this has come off the page because we're only really looking at the points on the map where the circles intersect. Las Vegas is 390. Find Las Vegas. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I can see that there is a distinct location on the map where the three circles intersect. It's this little section here. It's the only point where all three circles intersect. If we look at step three, we see that that point is the epicenter of the earthquake. So that is how we calculate or we, we locate the epicenter of our earthquake. 